Kitty once again. This is season number three. Second round action ng UCBL and first possession natin turnover right away. Para dito sa Olivares College. Ito nga si Alma Heda. We missed his services in their previous game against Diliman. During the crucial moments of the ball game, tinamaan ng cramps tong si Joshua Almaeda and his bad lead. But again, the points that he puts, actually the contribution that he has for his team, is not really more of points, but more of rebounding, assists, facilitating this team. Kaya very crucial siya ng dying minutes ng ball game against the Liga. Based on that last possession of you, SJCB, as uh, ito ang ating uh, main man for Olivares, uh, Paulo Castro gliding to the lane and laying it in 2-0. Lamang dito ang Olivares to start off. And if you're so in Joseph, ito ang unang-unang problema na kailangan mo masasolusyonan. You have to be able to break the press of Olivares. Hopefully make them pay if mabilis yung quick or mabilis or quick yung uh, ball movements mo. So far, nagagawa naman ang paraan dito ng uh, SJCB. Shot clock at 2 seconds. Salarza puts it up. Masyado malakas ang pabanda. Merong, uh, oh, inadvertent whistle, I think. So, we're gonna stop the play. Tumama actually yung yeah. bola sa ring. Pero exactly, medyo may yeah. konting dito, kaya ibabalik na lang ng ating mga referees. Back to 24 seconds para dito sa Olivares. And yun yung nagagawa. Again, if you're, you're not able to get a, a steal from the full court pressure, it's usually forcing the offense to run down their shot clock. And yun na nga nangyari dito sa St. Joseph because of that full court pressure of Olivares. Ang ganda ng hanap sa Lanef. A beautiful feed papunta dito kay Bigasso to make it 4-0. Si Vinny Bigasso their previous game not really showing a lot it was more of John Uduba who had an impact in their previous game against Deleman but hopefully now he's in his proper form Jensen namumuhunan in the shaded area ito na naman ang pressing D ng Olivares trying to hound the ball and their double teams a backcourt and I was just about to say almost an 8 second violation at ayun na nga naabutan sila do sa backcourt and if you're saying, Joseph, you shouldn't allow Olivares to be able to force a turnover if it's just one and one. Dapat na break mo na yung press. Mahirap yan pag na-double team ka na. Once you turn your back mm -hmm. against the, the, the strong side or the majority of the court, dyan ang gagaling usually in double team. So kung kaya mo naman, iwan and one, iwan and one mo na. Ang ganda naman ng pass. Last second dish galing dito kay Paolo Castro. Of course, kung ikaw yung defender, akala mo, ititira yeah. na niya. But then he finds Yanni Eli down low for the easy deuce. 6-0 na dito ang kalamangan ng Olivares. Finally, naitawid ng uh, SJC Biombola. Now they have to look for their offense. The Guin gets a pick. Ang ganda ng depensa dito ng Olivares. He attacks. Masyado malakas ang floater. And he tracks it down. The smallest guy in the court. Ang nakakuha ng bola. Atake. Too strong. Put back. Still no go. Para dito sa SJCB, sayang ang uh, tinira doon nito ni Cristobal. Esteban Jr. Yan ang kanyang phone name. As Paolo Castro. Yeah! He eats it up! Five points now for Paolo Castro. Abi Chino, alam na alam na agad natin. I think he's gonna have a field day now. Depending on the kind of defense that St. Joseph will give him. At sanay na sanay na to si Paolo Castro sa mga ganyang klaseng depensa. Another attack galing sa SJCB. Still no go. Oh, Castro! Slowing it down a little bit. Total control galing dito sa bata nito. Just like that, Olivares leads it by 10 seconds. Tinan natin kung ano nangyari dito. Atake ni Castro. Oops! I'm going to slow down and lay it in. And this time out is brought to you by Jerry's Grill. Magbabalik po ang UCBL. Test mic, test one. Hello, text mic, test one, two.
you were watching the third season of the UCBL dito sa Action TV. Before the game started, nakausap ko si Olivares College Team Captain Joshua Almaheda at sabi niya naging wake-up call sa kanyang team ang dalawang magkasunod na talo na binigay sa kanila ng Diliman College. Sabi pa niya, mas naging seryoso sila sa practice and they are making all necessary improvements. Olivares College is definitely very much eager to bounce back. Chino and Juan. Thank you very much. Danny Nakfil working the sidelines para dito sa ating laro. And a good recovery galing dito sa SJCB. Now they have a chance to cut down on this lead. They try to go down low. Peke takes the shot and a beautiful turnaround. Galing dito kay Esteban. What I liked about that play is he really took it strong against Ellie. No fear your post move ni Esteban. Usually we see it tal um, starting for St. Joseph, but at this point, I think what St. Joseph would like is to go inside the shaded area compared to John Intal's usual outside shooting. Rebound right there. Para dito sa SJCB, but they turn it over right away. At mukhang matatawagan pa. Itong si Leguin. I think it's going to be more than just a regular foul. Yung sumenyas yung ating mga referees. Might be a deliberate one. Abangan natin ang kanilang official na ruling. But the UCBL 2018 season is supported by Maxell Power Tools. Masakit dun. He turned over the ball. Actually, he could have brought the ball down without any pressure. Nakaabang lang naman yung uh, Olivares dun sa depensa nila. But once he turned the ball over, he committed pa tong uh, advantage foul. And again, that's oh. not going to be working to their favor. Because that's again, easy free throws plus ball possession. So, this is a Meron tayong substitution dito ngayon. After ito, possession pa. Ulit na itong Olivares College. So, tinan natin kung ano nangyari. Yes, they steal the ball. At ayun na nga. He gave up the foul to try to avoid that yeah. fast break. Pero masama pa. Naging kinabang yan. Actually, kasi ginagawa mo dyan yung go for the ball. But there, in that opportunity, nakita natin na he really went for the man. Mm -hmm. And hindi niya nakita, medyo may lead na leak na tong Olivares in their fast break attempt. And of course, that is an advantage for them. Ayun, bola ulit dito ng Olivares. They move the ball. Go, good ball movement galing sa kanila si Ellie though. Misses from the inside, but he gets it back. At sabi nga nila, height is yeah, might. Definitely. And again, that was a very good high-low play. And then Olivares just trying to toy with the 2-3 zone of St. Joseph. But the key there is really push this Ellie can't let him stay underneath the basket that long. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Jerry's Grill. Sa pagkakataon na yun, nga, masyado na siyang malalim. Yeah. Eh, no? Wala ka na talaga magagawa once he gets it inside. What's good with uh, what Olivares did, pinagod muna nila yung depensa na St. Joseph. Inikot-ikot mo nila before nila dalit kay Ellie. Yeah. By the time it gets to Ellie, medyo disoriented na yung depensa na St. Joseph dun sa 2-3 zone. Ganun na naman ang nangyayari sa pagkakataon na yun. This time around, si Ellie nakabawi, scores it inside. The UCBL 2018 season is supported by Tough Mama. 14-2 is the score right now. Four minutes and uh, 33 seconds gone. And the last play, Yanni Yelly just making use of that height and muscle over the defense of SJCB. Sila ngayon ang susubok na umatake dito. Alam mo, Chino, maganda itong matchup na nakikita natin. Paolo Castro and itong si Salarza. Both guys are the main scorers for their teams and they're defending each other. So magkakasubukan sila, hindi lang sa opensa, pati sa depensa. And speaking of defense, maganda pinakita doon ng Olivares forcing a 24-second shot clock violation, violation sa SJCB. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Happy Toothpaste. Eli, nagtatrabaho pa sa ilalim. Wala, two tries, no go. And there's gonna be a foul. In favor of SJCB, oh, si Begaso oh, matatawagan. Ang pasit sa mga si Esteban. But that was a good pass out by Esteban. Not only did he take a look at this replay, he was boxing him out, trying to push him away, but nahampas ang mukha itong si Esteban. And an easy steal oh, galing kay Yanni oh, Eli. The lead pass to Amaheda for that lay-in. At lumalaki na kalamangan dito ng Olivares. It's 16-2. SJCB, hirap na hirap, humanap na kanilang opensa. Where will they go? It's in Tal. On the left side, kicks it out. Salarza, a-atake, puts it up, short. Oh, na-rebound niya habang nakahiga sa ating sahig. 
And now it's another shot. Galing naman kay Esteban. No go. Oh, atake. Wala. Rebound ulit nitong uh, Olivar. Oh, yan, yan. He tried to slam it in traffic. Highlight reel sana. Oh, that would have been nice. Yan, yan. Trailing down that center lane, filling up that lane. Take a look at this replay. Oh, oh that would have been picture perfect. Skying high. Sabi nga nila, everything but the shot. Sayang. Pero worth that replay still. Lalabas mo na dito si Yanni Eli. Good energy pinakita na itong kanilang big man. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Cafe France. Oh, napati doon. They still get it back. SJCB attack, spin move, good take. At some point, itong mga offensive players ng St. Joseph, maganda na sana yung mga galaw nila. Hindi lang talaga pumapasok. Si Salarza kanina, si Legwin as well. Ito na naman. Makukuha nila ulit. Atake ulit ang SJCB. Intal takes it strong. A little bit of contact, no call, but good day. Galing kay Intal. And it's a good challenge against the defense of Uduba. Don't see Intal. Usually he catches and shoots from the three, the la, three, three point line, but this a pakakata on yun. Dinala niya strong to the hole, which I think worked out positively for St. Joseph. Cuts the lead to 14. Double digits pa rin. Gusto ng dagdagan ni Castro. Malakas ang kanyang three point attempt. And sabi ng ating mga officials, it's still going to be the bonus ball with 3 0 3 remaining in the first quarter. A few substitutions. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Ad Lights. Pumasok para dito sa Olivares College. Si Sige. Now they swing the ball. Sige ang naging substitute ni Almaheda in their last game against Deleman. Oh, sayang. Ganda sana ng kanyang jumper but uh, natawagan doon ng... Uh, Three-second violation itong Olivares. Now it's SJCB ball. Press. Nakalusot doon itong SJCB. Now they try to attack. Titira ng tres. Masyadong malakas. Rebounded by Intal for the offensive. One more time. Still no go. Rebounded by Sige now. Tumatakbo ang Olivares. They're on the attack. They kick it out. Castro drives left. Oop, from the inside, there's going to be a foul. And uh, trooping to the line is uh, number 91, oh, Lordy Geronimo. And then the uh, ni Paolo Castro, faking that jump shot and saw that there's a closer man, higher percentage shot underneath the basket to see uh, Geronimo. And as he received that shot, caught that foul, two free throws siya ngayon. Mala Dennis Rodman yata ang oh, idol na ito, na, uh, 91, no? Ang ganda ng numero, layo, 91, Dennis Rodman most probably. And it's nice to see kids idolizing yung uh, mga mas naunang generation sa kanila. Ah, yun ang masakit para dito sa SJCB Uduba. Working the offensive boards out of that miss. At si Salazar, nakaisa, after scoring the basket at yung Olivares, they fell asleep and Salarza attacking the rim for that one. Lamang dito. Ang uh, Olivares 18 to 6 may time out muna tayo. This time out is brought to you by Jerry's Grill as we watch Salarza take it to the rim. First quarter action, about to come back. 2.08 remaining dito sa ating unang yugto. It's Olivares uh, holding on to a 12-point lead at this point. Maganda ka nilang pinapakita. And uh, it's SJCB with zero assists as of this point. Habang si Lions naman, 
They have seven right now. Pero ngayon, punta muna tayo kay Danny. As Uduba scores at home. Danny, ano meron ka? Kanina nakausap ko si Coach Noel Legge ng St. Joseph. No? At sabi niya, every game, nag improve naman daw ang kanyang boys. And ang sinasabi niya lang, to keep them encouraged, eh, just keep improving every game. Sabi niya nga, pag naibaba natin itong laban na ito, ang lamang, into single digit, may pag-asang manalo tayo. Back to you guys. Ang hirap ng tira dun. Nung isa pang leg win on the court, fading away, but now they get it back. I mean, it's a tough job para dito kay Coach Noel. Uh, you know, getting your team motivated, you're down the ladder, the last rung of the standing, 0-8 ang inyong uh, so far record. And the toughest job is to keep your boys motivated, yes, especially absolutely. if you're up against a team like Olivares, DIP, um, CEU. These are the top four teams that you'd probably compete against. And, and you know, it's a, yung, you know, mga coaches, more than being like a strategic in the ball game, it's also the psychology of basketball, you know, being able to be that motivator, yeah. being the father figure in your team, you know, getting their hopes up. And Kyle Papano, I think I appreciate what Coach Noel is doing for his team, giving them, you know, bite sized goals to achieve. Uh, hindi kailangan na, oh, kailangan natin pumasok ng semifinals, kailangan natin mag-champion. I mean, baby steps ang uh, ginagawa dito ng St. Joseph. And, I mean, these are the building blocks that you're going to look forward to as they further play in UCBA. Sabi nga ni Joel Embiid, you gotta trust the process. Habang eto si Uduba is uh, really showing us what he has got para dito sa Olivares. Been very impressive dito sa ating uh, tournament. Dito sa kanyang pagpasok sa ating laro, dami na kagad ginagawa. But uh, from the second unit, he is definitely a big surprise para yeah. dito sa Olivares. And yung, uh, it's more of the intangibles on napapasok na ito na Duba. Yung presence in the shaded area, his defensive stance, you know, that go hard kind of attitude. Nakakahawa yung chino sa mga kakampi pag ganun klaseng pinapakita mo laro every single time. And we appreciate it. Usually nga, hindi pa nga siya nagagamit in some of the games or he's got lesser minutes. But when he is on the floor, you can immediately feel his impact. And yun ang nagugustuhan ng coaches. At dyan, magtatapos ang ating first quarter of action. A big lead right away para dito sa Olivares as we check out some of their good work. Dito sa ating first quarter, hitting from deep is Castro. At ito naman na kanilang big man, Yanni Ali from the inside. And Castro showing us also that he can do it inside and outside. 22 to 6. Olivar is up by 16 points at this point. Sa ating pagbabalik, second quarter action on UCBL. Helping hands para dito sa SJCB Rupinta. Desena do sa kanilang last match of 13 points and 8 rebounds para kay Rupinta. And 9 and 10, almost a double-double para naman kay Desena. Kakailanganin nila ulit ang tulong galing dito sa dalawang ito if they want to have a chance of beating Olivares, which is definitely a much stronger team, just being honest. Yeah, again, it, the, the shooting percentage wasn't so beautiful. 40%, roughly around 35% shooting. But what I appreciated about those two is their ability to get rebounds. That was a high-scoring ball game in their previous game. And kahit papano, them getting those offensive and defensive boards, nakatulong yun para sa mga possessions nila. Dito so far, they are getting some stops, pero yung kanilang offense, eh, hindi rin talaga nila mahanap. They are having a hard time putting that ball inside the rim. They have a lot of decent attempts, pero wala talagang pumapasok. Speaking of offense, Chino, right now, St. Joseph is 3 out of 20 from the field, and that's quite painful. Samantalan tong uh, Olivares shooting quite well, 10 out of 23, and they've forced turnovers and converted those turnover, turnovers. Six points na sila off a turnover. Second block, galing dito kay Uduba, and he gets the rebound, and that's another gimme para dito sa SJCB. Chance na sana nila makascore doon, but they still blow it near the rim. Habang sa kabila, titira, ito na naman si Uduba. You gotta love the yeah. motor of this kid. Talagang relentless siya sa pag-pursue ng bola. Again, we've seen him more uh, getting slowly, being uh, that reliable centerpiece 
Espada for Olivares because of his ability to defend and get those rebounds. And we have a story from Danny. Danny, what do you have? Naging emotional daw itong si John Lawrence Oduba dahil sa dalawa nilang magkasunod na talo versus Dillamon College. But according to him, lalo siyang naging motivated. Kailangan namin bumawi kahit anong mangyari, said the 20-year-old BSBA student. Back to you guys. There you go. At ayan, pinapakita nga niya na talaga na parang sawa na siyang matalo and he wants to get back into their winning ways as SJCB turns it over once again. Masyado malakas ang pasa doon ni Sige. And that's going to be a turnover also on the side of Olivares. They committed 21 yeah. turnovers in this in their last matchup versus Diliman in this college uh, level pero, one. Pero, Chino, that was a far cry from the 42 turnovers that they committed also mm -hmm. against the same team in their first meeting. So, I mean, the half of it is a pretty good sign. 21 turnovers is still bad, but yeah. not as bad as their first meeting. So, kahit pa paano, nag-improve naman tong Olivares, but still, turnovers are still turnovers. Nakalahati na nila. But on the college level, what would be the nice average for a team? Na kung ilang uh, turnovers lang yung meron. Because of course, it's not the pros. Yeah, yeah. I, I think 20 turnovers is good given that almost all teams have full court pressures. Okay. So it, it usually forces a lot of turnovers. Yung uh, full court press na yan. Pag tumawid pa sila ng uh, half court, meron pa rin siya dyan mga half court traps, yeah. yung mga miscues. So give and take, 20 turnovers, not bad for Olivares. Um, in their previous game, but lagi kang pagbabayarin kung magaling yung kalaban mo to um, convert those turnovers uh -huh. into points. As we go up and down, Astra, speaking of turnovers, ang dami nangyari doon na turnover, back and forth from both teams. Olivares trying to look for a shot. They go on the left side, the three-pointer, that is too strong. Para dito sa Olivares, coming from Terrania. And another turnover from SJCB. Attacking ngayon ang mga naka-green and there's gonna be a foul on that driving attempt to the rim. Uh, earning two free throws is Olivares College, courtesy of Terrania. Right now, see, Olivares with their active hands, even if broken up na yung play, even if nakakatawid at nabibreak na yung full court pressure nila, because of their active hands, nakakaago pa rin sila and not really allowing St. Joseph to settle down and take a good shot. At may mga substitutions tayo para dito sa Olivares right now. And the UCBL 2018 season is supported by Adlites. Two free throws na ipasok ng uh, Olivares. So 25 to 8 is the count now. 17 big lead galing dito sa Olivares. As sa Larza, hindi makapasok dito sa ating uh, Laban ngayon, and he just commits a silly foul, a frustration foul, galing kay Salarza, because he really cannot find the basket. 7.28 remaining in the second quarter. Nakipasok na dito ng Olivares ang kanilang shock troopers from the bench. And they still move the ball around very nicely, and I think there's going to be an offensive foul. Hinawi ng kaunti. Ni Rosero ang kanyang bantay, bagsak. And that's gonna be a turnover against Olivares. That was a good call. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Holy Cow Steaks, Ribs, and Chops. Sarap dyan. Si Rosero yung kanina sa opportunity na yun. He put down his shoulders. Si Esteban standing his ground, absorbing the contact. He's able to get that offensive foul. Chinta, libinalik na dito sa loob. Misses from deep. He's been one of the few guys who were able to score a basket. Para dito sa Olivare, sa, so check that, SJCB in the first quarter. Ito yung sinasabi natin, si Intal kanina, nakapunto siya when he drove straight to the basket. He's got that athletic system that goes with him. Pinsan to niya JC Intal um, from the Phoenix Fuel Masters. But now that he's falling in love again with his outside shooting, buwababa yung shooting percentage niya. UCPL 2018 season is supported by Cafe France. And the turnovers para dito sa SJCB is piling up. Parami na ng parami na sa second quarter pa lang tayo. They already have eight turnovers at this point. And Salars against the rebound. Matak po si Leguin. Tries to be fancy. Uses the left hand. Block from behind. Galing kay Harold Sala. Shuffling his team. 
Para dito sa SJCB is uh, Coach Noel Leguin. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Happy Toothpaste. Nandito na naman sa Olivares ang bola. Atake to the inside. Now they trap the ball handler, pero ang ganda ng kanto, 0-0. And a good find as well. Galing dito kay Jeronimo for the deuce once again for Olivares. 27-18. Namamaga na namamagawa ng ating kalamangan dito. As UCBL 2018 season is supported by Tough Mama. Leguin pa minsan medyo a little yeah. bit out of control. I think, I think it's the, the, next, the, the, the thing about St. Joseph is so far, probably around 30% or 40% of the full court pressure of Olivares. Na break naman nila. Eh. Mm -hmm. Pero pag na break nila, natawid nila sa half court. Ang problema kasi wala rin sila na execute na half court offense. They don't have somewhere like a secondary break, primary break. What happens after we cross that mid court? What's our play? And so ang ending, tung si uh, Lingwin, inang muhula kung sa jump pupunta, nagiging one on one siya. And then pag na trap na siya, Bigla na uhula siya kung kanina niya ipapasa yung bola. And that's not usually a good sign for them because it's, it it's converted into turnovers. Uh, they don't see Leguin a little bit frustrated. You can see from this guy na he's facing down, shoulders are yeah. down as well. Well, it's tough when you're 0-8 and eight going up against uh, one of the bigger teams here in the league. Desena. Naipit. Bumalik dito kay... Salarza, who is denied heavily, blocked from the inside. Terania hesitating, pulls it back. They own a 21 point lead right now. Ooh, body check. Galing kay Salarza. And right now, Olivares, you take a look at this replay. Good intention to drive to the basket. Masyado lang masikip. You've got Esteban there and the guy of Esteban also. So it's the spacing of St. Joseph that's giving them problems. Kanda ng butata doon. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Jerry's Grill. 29-8. 5-11 still here in the first half. Ayun, nabigyan pa ng technical foul. Ito si Salarza. Talagang yung frustrations nila. It is mounting here in the first half. Mamimigay sila dito ng free throws as six steals para dito sa Olivares. Still zero para naman sa St. Joseph. Ito Olivares, sinub in kagad si Paolo Castro. Wala nangyayari sa offense nila in the last three offensive stops. Opportunities for uh, Olivares, and so they did, needed to bring in their scoring machine to si Paolo Castro, hopefully to spark something in their team. UCPL 2018 season is supported by Maxel Power Tools as Olivares scores on the inside once again. And a lot of things to talk about para sa St. Joseph College Bolacan. 31 to 8 is the count right now. This time out is brought to you by Jerry's Grill. Magbabalik po ang UCBL. Five more minutes, 4.59 to be exact. Ating first half, 31 to 8 is the count. The SJCB down big once again against their opponent. This time it's Olivares with a big lead. It is, a, it is at 23 at this point. Leguin, let's see if they can set up a play out of that timeout. But Leguin picks up his dribble. Putin lang nakuwa ngayon ni Bernal. They swing it, right corner three, that is short. And Olivares is running, Sala with the ball. Sala pulls up, tough shot, but he gets it from the free throw line. 
Right now, tinalo na ng uh, Olivares yung uh, lamang nila against St. Joseph in their previous meeting. That was a 91 to 68 um, scoring, and uh, they finished with 23 points in terms of lead. Ayun na na lamang na nila na 25 points, Gino. Umatake sa loob si Bernal, masyadong masikip and you gotta give it up also to the interior defense of Olivares shutting the door every single time papasok sa loob Etong SJCB, they miss, offensive rebound, they swing the ball Libre si completo, not able to complete a three-pointer as uh, there's gonna be a block on Rosero Galing kay Ental, pero sabi may foul daw Matatawagan doon ay uh, si number 16, Bernal. And free throw, si Lions, not the greatest percentage in the world, 5 out of 11. Pero ang masakit kasi para sa mga Toros, eh wala pa silang naititira kahit isa. They're not even able to capitalize on uh, free throws. That's why they are down big right away. Still in single digits, ha? Etong uh, SJCB, and we are in the second quarter of action. Di muna pe-press ng malupit etong Olivares. At that occasion, aatake na naman. Pero si Leguin, naiwan ang bola sa may baseline. That's gonna be another turnover. Ito si Leguin, uh, medyo matagal yung bola sa kamay niya. Only to commit that turnover. What we want to see from St. Joseph is really the ball movement and movement of ball. How are they helping out the teammate that's being pressured so far? Those are the things that we're looking for for St. Joseph to actually good and put up a good fight this afternoon. Ito si Sala, parang relax na relax lang. Doon sa kanya mga mid-range jumpers. Drains another one from almost the same area. It is up to 28. Ang kalamangan ng Olivares. Leguin, Bibira, short. And nothing has been going para dito kay Leguin to start off. As Castro distributing and Sala finishing doon sa pagkakataon na yun. 30 na kalamangan. Yeah. One. First half pa lang tayo dito, ha? Leguin takes another three. Wala pa rin. And uh, I don't know when it will come para dito kay Leguin. The well has been dry for this kid. Uh, and he's been struggling. Again, he's one of those players that we're expecting for St. Joseph to really uh, give them that necessary point. But just this afternoon, struggling with his shooting to see Leguin. Again, also facilitating his team. At nandun siya ngayon. He actually asked to be subbed out and he just sat at the very deep end of the bench showing a little bit of frustration and uh, yeah, you can't blame the kid. They are down by uh, 31 big points. Well, Vinny Begasso, three points, two rebounds, misses the second free throw. Rosero with the end one put back out of that miss and uh, Palaki lang ng palaki ang problema dito ng SJCB. And it's those simple things para dito sa St. Joseph. Off this free throw of Bigasso, you can see that there wasn't really much boxing out mm -hmm. that happened. I mean, you don't need special skill or talent to box out someone. It's all about determination. And if you're St. Joseph at this point of the ball game, you gotta show that you want it. And you gotta fight for that ball regardless of what the score is. You know, you, you, you gotta show that you want to be in this league. How difficult is it to be uh, in a team where you are 0 and 8? Uh, Shempre, yung spirits nyo, it is very yeah. down. But what do you hold on to? I mean, I think for one, they sh shouldn't beat themselves up too much. St. Joseph, it's their first time really joining UCBL, trying to get their feet wet. When it was happening to before, na, you know, it's all about you know developing that system within your school that program within your school and then they, they now have a feel of what kind of tournament they're getting themselves into. Ganito yung mga kalaban natin, nandiyan ang CEU, ganito ang sistema nila, nandiyan ang uh, Olivares, nandiyan ang TIP, nandiyan ang Diliman. These are the big schools that you're up against. So how do you prepare? Because this game, the tournament, is just a byproduct of the preparation that you have. Mm -hmm. 
So if you're seeing Joseph, what kind of preparation are you having off season and probably five years down the road, the recruitment process no? Yeah, if you're Saint they have to think about and uh, they have to hold on to para naman hindi bumigay yung kanilang uh, loob dito sa ating uh, season. As a kanina nga lang naka-score ito si Salarza, they are now in double digits first two free throws nila and he attacks this time around too strong. But it was Sala with the last touch. Dun sa pagkakataon na yun, we have a timeout on the floor. It's 45 to 10. Olivares with a huge lead. And this timeout is brought to you by Jerry's Grill. We will be back. This was the first meeting of Olivares versus SJCB. 91 to 68 ang naging ending ng ating uh, score. But as you can see, almost all departments dominated by Olivares and it's been the same story so far. Yeah, again, if you're uh, St. Joseph, that's something that you study. You go back to the numbers. Um, if you're going to face the same opponent in the second round and it's something that you want to work on. Let's say, you know, what are the winnable statistics mm -hmm. that you can have? So let's say, for example, assist category, is that something that we can win? Rebounding, is that something that we can fight for? Not allowing this kind of domination against you. So if you're saying, Joseph, pick your battles, that's true, um, and work on them and, and work to your advantage, work to your strengths, not trying to, you know, win all every single time in just one sitting. There's gonna be uh, a loose ball foul called the Mokang si si Rosero matatawagan at uh, luckily para dito sa SJ, SJCB they have a chance to cut down on this lead dahil nasa penalty na etong Olivares which will mean two more free throws free throws number three and four para dito sa Saint Joseph a make on the first one. And these are these are the winnable battles as in a seven at and you know the free throw. I mean wala ka namang kalaban dyan sa free throw, kalaban mo lang sarili mo dyan in your focus. At the same time, it's it's what you want for if you're St. Joseph. It slows down the game, mm -hmm. kills the time, gives you two opportunities to make good baskets wide open. These are the things that you have to capitalize. Kung ikaw ang St. Joseph, at gusto mo bumalik sa laro na. So far, 1 and 2 para dun kay Dicena sa kanyang trip. Castro na libis ang left corner. No good, too strong. There's gonna be a foul. Si Uduba ang matatawagan. Pushing off, trying to get an offensive rebound. Ang inapansin ko kay Paolo Castro, yung pocket 3 na yan. Medyo not really his uh, cup of tea. Nag-struggle siya dyan. Even with Diliman, the play that they set was for him to receive him in that corner area. And uh, he didn't shoot from that area the whole game. But the play was designed for him to accept it there. He missed it. He was blocked. But again, we're seeing that. That's probably something if Paulo Castro would want to, you know, make it to the pros. He's got to have a complete um, uh, all-around basketball game. I know that scorer is. He finds ways. Kanina nakita natin sa off a fast break that beautiful sidestep him slowing down. So we see that he has potential to make it to the pros, but he has to work on a couple of more areas. I'm sure eh, talagang he will focus on those areas to make sure that uh, he will slowly improve his game. As John Duba still working the boards. Speaking of improvement, si John Duba continuously um, evolves as a player for Olivares. And ito si Salarza na ipit na sa baba. Kanina pa siya nakaupo dun. And uh, were they able to call a timeout? No, no, there was a five-second. Oh, five-second, yeah. So that's going to be another turnover para dito sa SJCB. Good trapping D. Galing sa Olivares. Ito ang si Uduba improving leaps and bounds para sa kanyang pupilan. Last 42 seconds. Ang ganda ng atake doon ni Sala Mintes. But he gets its own miss. Castro natapikan ni Salarza. Try to reach in. A little bit of body bump and uh, my foul. Free throws para dito kay Castro. Castro will go to the line uh, for two free throws. With 35 seconds left in the first half. He hold the big 35-point lead. Make that 36 at this point. 
Tanya versus Diliman, 24 points, four rebounds, a split over there. Oh, wow. Pero sabi ni Anthony John Uduba, bakit hindi natin going a four-point play the hard way. So one free throw para kay Castro, a putback galing kay Uduba, plus a bonus free throw, a chance to make it like a four-point possession para sa Olivares. You know what I like about Uduba? Originally, his role here in Olivares was really more of a stopper, especially yung mga imports ng kanilang mga kalaban. Siya ang kumukuha siya ang tumatao. But now, yung opensa niya because of his ability to bounce back, ang bilis ng jump back niya parang Arwin Santos eh. Yep. And once he gets that offensive rebound, he puts it back. That's a plus immediately for Olivares on top of the defense that he has been showing. Castro lays it in very easily. 13 seconds left. 53 to 12 is the score. Atake dito si Leguin, but he passes it to nobody, and that's going to be another turnover para sa SJCB. Six seconds left. Uduba, Castro for three. No good. Ay! Ang masakit do na huli pa etong si Desena trying to push off with almost uh, no time sa ating oras. And since they are in the penalty, it looks like may free throws pa tayo na ibibigay para dito sa Olivares. It's going to be Begaso. Let's take a look. Castro takes a three from the right corner. He misses, but from behind, a little bit of a push sa lower back na huli na ating mga opisyales. And to close out the quarter, it's Bigasso with the free throw. And the final score at the half is 54 to 12 after 20 minutes of action. Sa ating pagbabalik, second half ng UCBL SJCB versus Olivares. the 2018 UCBL Dito Saxon TV for the halftime score St. Joseph is struggling against Olivares College a score na 54 to 12 and may hinanda kaming video para sa inyo and dito ang UCBL top 5 plays of the week Dito ang inyong UCBL top 5 plays of the week at number 5 Initaran iniwasan ang lahat hang bang bucket Rich Trinitaran, in Argayo Ball, as you'll see here. He'll carry that basketball one, two step, absorb the contact, still broken. At number four, Alamo. It's another steal for the up, and another dunk. How many times have we seen that? The up playing the passing lane, makakakagal, dire, dire, cho para sa dakda. Got the speed that goes with that height. Then on the half, a half of the NCO. So, you can have a competition for basketball, soccer, and all that. At number three. That's important. What they're doing for the first minute. And then the team is hesitating and then spinning. No help. So, you see, go with his two fouls. That was hard for him to go against. This driving Castro to fish for that end one. Beautiful move. Mula kay Paolo Castro. At number two. Olivares with a steal. From up court. Oh! It's a pass! Paolo Castro from half court. Listen to this crowd. It was because of this play. Castro, all the way from Picutan. The re review of our referees, if they're gonna count this. It looked good, one. It looked good. And the number one play of the week. Ikuy na kapatay sa kanya. 
Oh, no! Adam was oh, open my again! God. Oh! With a go-ahead basket! Oh. this. Paolo Castro was waiting there. No help whatsoever. Wide open. Tatlong screen. Oh Ang tinaana ni Darang. The brilliance oh. of Bahar. And it's foul counted. At yan ang inyong top 5 plays of the week. Abangan ang umaat kabong aksyon ng UCBL. Patuloy na subaybayan ng UCBL dito lang yan sa Action TV. At pagbabalik kami to open up the third quarter. Third quarter action about to ensure. Juarez holding a 42 point lead at the half. And make that uh, at this point. Easy basket right away off of the half time. Attacking the Mandito SJCB. Trying to make this a little decent. Yeah, it's the ball movement and spacing. I give up two lane of problem. St. Joseph, after they cross the half court, they didn't have much of pressure to Olivares, but it's the half court execution that they have to look at. What do you do with the ball after crossing the half court? But I hits the quarter and extra passing. Galing dito sa Olivares, but Danielli could not finish the easily. You can see Olivares just so comfortable with their ball movements, how they know each other well. Alam na kagad nila yung tendencies ng mga kape nila. And so even without seeing a guy, they know and they expect na may tao dun sa loob na yun. They just give the ball inside. Castro tracks it down on the right corner. Rebounds the ball, 56 to 12. Ganda na ito talaga, lakas na ka backward. Olivares yung Almaheda and Castro. Both guys complement each other. You've got a scoring, shooting guard from Paolo Castro. And you've got a facilitator in Almaheda. As Bernal lays it in. Rare basket coming from uh, SJCB. And we, yeah, but we want to see more of that. You know, that was a well executed fast break by the St. Joseph of a rebound. As Jeronimo blows it from the inside. Ganda sana naman yung offensive putback. Just a little too strong. Bernal once again attacking back to back. Hindi, sabi ni Jeronimo. Get that out of here. Good intention though for St. Joseph. Every time they get their rebound, they pass the ball, not allowing that half court sit. It depends on the guys to stop them from making a basket. This defensive play of the game is brought to you by Tata Mama. A block calling Kai Jeronimo. Bernal to Liguid. Right corner three. Still no go. Rebounded and put back. By Rupinta. There you go. Now the table is about in third. Gino, I'm uh, St. Joseph here. Then I can't put him in the full court pressure. Pero, ayun ang naging problema. Nakatapas ang Olivares and Uduba with the easy deuce. And you like what the SJC is doing here? They're actually pushing the pace of this game. And trying to score early in transition. As Castro. You did not go in. Natapigan. Loses it almost. He gets it back. And Maheda back to Castro. Scrambling D. Gary Tito sa SJC. But so creative. Gino para dito kay Paolo Castro. Finds the hole. Oh, what a block by Uduba. With authority. This Olivares team is quite complete in terms of yung PSA nila. No? You've got the Duba who's a strong dominant in the paint with his shot blocking ability and rebounding. Then you've got a scorer in Paolo Castro and you've got a facilitator in Almaheda and you've got
got an import in Yanni. Wala pa dyan siya. Sa Gigit, who is also get a good reliable of reliable source of points. Para dito sa Olivares. The win of Gintes and a good drive. What a take from Eronimo. Stretches it out and puts it in. Hapa si The Green, not trapped na naman. Turns it over once again. And Alma Hera lays it in. And nothing is going right once again para dito. So SJCB as The Green turns it over. Alma Hera with a walk in the park. And this time out is brought to you by Jerry's Grill. It's 64 to 16 in the third quarter. Sixty-four to sixteen. At ito pinapakita natin sa inyo ang assist of the game brought to you by Jerry's Grill sizzling assist. Leguin, can he get his composure back? Kasi parang naratil na siya dito sa ating laro. Trying to go no look that time around. Natapik na kuwan nila ulit. Papanta from three, no good. And uh, trying to run away is on the ground, but there's going to be a foul given up. It's going to be tough para dito sa St. Joseph if they're relying heavily on um, Lenguin to facilitate their team. And if he's the first one to be rattled, a eh, domino effect na yan with yep. the rest of the offense. At uh, ang mga three-point shots dito ng SJCP, hindi pumapasok. And that's not been their... Uh, MO sa ating conference dahil they were zero out of 18 in their last matchup against the Japan. So wala talaga silang naipasok. And that time around, the pass was a little too strong. Sales out of bounds. Bola babalik sa Olivares. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Maxell Power Tools. Castro, Geronimo, back to Castro, attacks, and he just slips through the defense. When he gets it on, it's on. Rubinta scoring right there. Getting it back very quickly. 66 to 18. It is a 48 point lead. UCB on 18 season is supported by Jerry Drill. Ronimo, feet inside. There's going to be a foul on Bernal. It was Uduba trying to seal deep. Ito si Uduba, he has some height. May konting athleticism, of course. Yung katawan niya, may mga konting muscles na siya. Of course, a little bit more development, but you can really see the potential from this kid. As Castro, masyado malakas. So off that inbound. They get it back. Ten seconds on the shot clock of Olivares. Uduba, good gun, galing kay Castro. You know who Uduba reminds me of? It reminds me of Kaden Ikhalon on the nine legs. Good work. Parang pareha sila ng build. And there he is, scoring it. the rear view mirror before skying for that lay-in. You know what? He's built to be a scorer. You athleticism, his ability to read plays, read the defense. Alam mo sa na ina sa ina hawo ni ko all the time. Another missed opportunity, good break in terms of Saint Joseph in that press. Pero bisa na they just had nowhere to go to after executing that. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Tough Mama. Ang ganda ng iwan na pasa doon ni Almaeda para dito kay Uduba. Giving it up to the trainer big man. A 
as that's going to be an errant pass taken happily by uh, Paolo and lays it in, skying out. Yeah, Edson si Castro showing us the hops as well. May hang time siya eh, no? Talagang makikita mo. Yep. Just gliding through the air. And you can see that even when he, the, the way he takes his jump shots. Off a fast break, off a dribble, and then pull up. Ang taas oh. ng balon nito ni Paolo Castro. As Duba sinks the free throw. 71-80 now. Olivares running away with his victory. Here in the third quarter, UCBL 20 season is supported by Happy Toothpaste. And that's going to be an eight second violation. All sorts of trouble para dito sa SJCB. Siliguin pinapagalitan ng kanyang coach na kuya niya. I mean, after the game, something like this, he did perform quite well. Ano pong asin na conversations meron kayo sa Takali at sa Habuna? As there's gonna be a score. You know, but you know, I like how Bernard is playing. This guy has been relentless attacking that shaded area. Chin a challenge at the leg of Pisa Pala, Chin a defense at Yani, and Chin a challenge at the defense at the Udu. At the Gusodin, you need that for the Clinton Yell. But it's very unique. UCBL 20D season is supported by Cafe France. Mahame, Pamata, Wala, Uduba with the board. And see Uduba when he gets that rebound. He really secures it para wala makatapik sa kanya. Good effort by the Queen. Pero nakuha pa rin na Bolivares. There's going to be a foul. Ito si Almaheda shooting. He's going to troop to the line for two. It's going to be Jordan with the foul. Ito si Kim Silas Jordan, number 23 din. Kapatid ba ni Marcus? Pamangkin niya na ni FJ. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Brochure Computer Service is our business. At kung Jordan nga naman yung last name mo, ita 23 mo na, di ba? Maka naman di Andre Jordan yung ano yung mo. Mamimili ka na ng number ni Jordan, hindi yung Michael Jordan na. Jordan na nga. Jordan, his airness. Get this, Chido. 39 to 7 bench points. Great support. And again, I think Coach Mike is also using this opportunity to just empower his second unit against the big teams in this tournament. Give them confidence as well. UCBL 22 is supported by Ant Could not finish in the rim. Mata po Almaheda. Wala ang kanyang lane. Try to make sure na hindi siya makakakot yung mental. Oh, what a shot. Galing dito kay Jordan. A little bit out of control. Since Jordan na rin ang pinag-uusapan natin. Imagine po yung ano yung yung sa ano ang tawag dito? Space Jam. Yung tira na yun. Kung na-extend niya lang ng konti yung kamay niya, baka umabot pa yun. I believe I can fly. Up, oh, not trapped on. Nako, that's going to be a turnover. Uduba tries to set oh! up for the jab, but he misses it. It's a bye, it's a Not a big enough to do Good effort, getting to the SJCB. Yeah, good recovery for that transition defense of St. Joseph. Give it a stretch. It's a bit far away from the take of the new uh, Uduba. <laughs> Pero ngayon, they miss. But uh, Tumama Sarim before the 24 seconds, Sabi ni Duba, ito ang sisi ko na tuwing ko na. Laying it in, plus the foul. Medyo na-conscious siya dun sa best slam dun niya. Tried to slam it two-handed style. Medyo kinapos ng konti sa kanyang hops, but uh, there he is, beating up for that one. Two points lang naman yung dunk. Ito, foul counted, a chance for three. But uh, syempre maganda rin para dito ngayon sa Olivares is that uh, they get to play yung kanilang mga bench players as yeah. you mentioned a while ago. How important is that that you give them the minutes that they need especially when it comes to a blowout like this? Yeah, for Coach Mike, this is an opportunity to try out a different, uh, I mean, different combinations that you foresee that could work for you, set up mismatches. 
Again, you're looking beyond this ball game, beyond uh, uh, whatever it is that's happening now, and you're looking forward to, okay, semifinals, sino ba mga kalaban natin sa semifinals? Potentially sa finals, sino ba kalaban natin? And if you're looking at big schools like CEU and Diliman, na hindi pa kasi na nananalo, then you have to bring in that shock factor. Pangalawang beses na kasi lang na nakikita because double round robin nga tayo dito sa tournament natin. So kahit pa paano nagkakabasahan na sila ng kanila kanyang mga sistema. So you have to bring in something new to the table if you're gonna compete against them in the semifinals. Hindi na dadali yung mga adjustments na ginagawa na ating mga coaches. Second round. Of course, you wanna see, even though you want big in the first game, you wanna see improvements sa mga coaches na yun. And you can build on that and try to strengthen the weaknesses that you have. As what a move! Galing kay Salarza accepts the contact, walang tawag, but a tough shot.